Hey guys, it's Molly here. Welcome. Did you buy celery at all this winter for soups or any of your dinners? What if I could tell you, you could do something with your celery right now that would save you a ton of time with starting celery from seed this summer. I did it last summer and I can't wait to do it again this year. Actually, I'm already in the works of doing it and it's not too late for you to start. I'm going to show you. So this is the last thing of celery that I bought from the store. And first off, you're going to want to buy a head of lettuce that has the bottom still intact. And what I'm going to do is simply cut it away from the rest of the celery, which is the part we're not going to eat anyway. Typically this would get thrown away. You can wash the rest of your celery and put it back in the fridge. Next, you're going to want a small container and I use three toothpicks. And the container can be pretty shallow. You just want it to be able to hold a little bit of water. And then you're going to take your celery and your container, and you're going to spill the water everywhere if you're anything like me. And we're going to use the toothpicks just in the outer couple, like, let's get around this. Like so. You don't need to go all the way into the middle. You just want to grab the outer pieces that will eventually likely um, rot or you won't keep them long term. They're just there to help you hold the toothpicks for now. And you will put it over your container. Here, let me just dump the water. It'll be like that. It's simply to hold it just inside the container like that. You don't want it resting on the floor of your container. And then we can fill it with water. And you want it just around where the bottom is. And what will eventually happen is this. Your celery will start growing and you'll see the outside will kind of shrivel and we can peel those layers off, but around the bottom will grow roots. And now once we have a good set of roots like so, we can take out the toothpicks. Save those for later. And now you can do several things with your mini celery plants. Um, what I'm going to do is be putting it into a jug. It's not quite warm enough to put it in the garden yet. If your soil is warm, then you can go ahead and stick this right into the ground, make the soil nice and moist, and it will grow all summer long. Right now it's too cold for that for me. So I'm going to be using the water jug method. If you have it, or milk jug method, whichever you want to call it, I call it the jug method. And if you don't know what this is, you can go back to my previous videos. I have explained this thoroughly. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mini makeshift greenhouse and I'm going to have the water, um, excuse me, I'm going to have the soil in here very moist. I'm going to have to go grab a spray bottle but I'm going to secure the roots into the soil here and just cover them. The plant does not need to be that deep into the soil because you don't want any additional rotting of the plant if you can help it. You just want it secure. I'm gonna take my spray bottle and I'm just gonna water it in. like that I'll let that grow for well basically until uh, it's warm enough to put outside into the garden and I'll transplant it out 
I'm probably going to keep this inside just in a covered area but not outside. Um, you could definitely put it in like a covered area if you have a mini greenhouse. That would work fine. Um, but this should keep it pretty warm and give it a good environment to grow. I'm just trying to seal this. There we go. Another thing I've done is I've put them just in little pots underneath my grow lights and let them grow inside for a few weeks leading up to when it's warm enough to put them out and just give them a good condition to establish a root system. And I don't know if I, I'll put up right here my biggest celery plant that I got last year. I actually transplanted it just before the frost into my mini high tunnel. And uh, yeah, I was very impressed with the root system that it grew throughout the summer. And I'm actually waiting to see, it didn't seem to die completely over the winter. So I'm hoping it'll come back this, this spring and we'll see how big it can get. So that is that. It's pretty simple. Let me know if you try this method for growing your celery and I wish you plenty of gardening success this spring. Until next time, see ya.